what it is. Maybe it's the, well, this behind me. It looks really weird. Don't you notice it? It looks like it's that color here. I, I changed it. Doesn't look color. good. Okay. Yeah. I don't like this room. Sit. I don't like this room. You know that. For filming. The lighting is horrible for me. You want to go uh, I'll sit outside? That's okay. We'll just do it. I won't even look in the camera. <laughs> okay, okay. Yes. Uh, today, actually, we would like to talk about uh, citizen. Uh, because uh, in China, I noticed that uh, the identity card, it says resident card, not a citizen card. means someone lives here. Zhu, like Zhu. Okay. But in the Western countries when we say we say citizen, citizen. So what is citizen? Actually I checked the uh, uh, dictionary. So the the college heritage dictionary says can you read it? Oh come on, why you give me things to read? And your handwriting? Uh, it says the status of a citizen with its attendant duties, rights, and privileges. Can you read this sentence? You just said it. The status of a citizen with its attendant duties. It, this is one thing, an attendant duty. Yeah, attendant duty. Okay, rights and privileges. Yes. Your English is very good. Thanks. Okay. Uh, then, being a citizen, you I have the three parts. Good. Okay, three mm -hmm. parts. Mm -hmm. You have the duty, you have the rights, and you have the privilege. Privileges. Then privileges. privileges. Rights. Duties. So, that start making me think what's the difference with the three components okay so today's video we don't get into the details of the rights what is the rights what is the duties what is privileges rather the differences between <coughs> duties rights and privileges the differences so um can you tell us the difference then well, first off, I think a lot of people need a bit of a um, a context here mm -hmm. because most people, if they're, if they're watching this from China and haven't studied or lived in a Western society um, or a society with a constitution, mm -hmm. they really, maybe they don't understand. So I don't know. I don't know if they even know the difference. So I'm trying to explain the difference between a right and especially um, a right and a duty they work together mm -hmm. they're two sides of the same coin mm -hmm. and then a privilege is actually something completely separate mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. so a right is uh, I, I have to give examples okay duty first okay duty mm -hmm. the duty of what a citizen as a citizen yes the duty of a citizen is to obey the laws mm -hmm. Of your country mm -hmm. and to under that includes like pay taxes mm -hmm. okay and um, vote to vote yes so the duty is a responsibility as a citizen you have to pay tax you must pay and you must you have to obey the law okay uh, to vote you're supposed to to go to vote, but you will not get punished if you don't go. Mm. But the government actually require you to 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 pay uh, to to vote. No, no, they don't. They don't. No, mm -hmm. under duties. Actually, that's why I was saying that they get mixed up. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Now, people fought for the right to vote, mm -hmm. but that doesn't mean you have to do it. It's just like I have freedom of speech, but I don't have to speak. Mm. I don't have to. Mm -hmm but I have the freedom to do so. Mm. But 
a lot of people see it being an active citizen, you should vote because then you can be heard. But a lot of people say, hey, my vote doesn't count. It doesn't matter. So this is a whole different situation. But just know that um, a duty, uh, it, it's kind of a sketchy thing. They, it, so long as they can't enforce that by law, then obviously it can't be a duty, not in law. Okay? Okay. They can make me follow laws, though, or I can get in trouble. But I, since I can't get in trouble for not voting, how can it be a duty in reality? Do you know what I mean? It's not a duty. Mm -hmm. It's a right. It's a right. Okay. Yes. So, so being a citizen, you have the duty to obey the law, and you have the duty to pay tax. Which is part of the law. Yes. Okay. So, what what is the rights name? Okay. Um, rights are first off, they are undeniable, unchangeable. They can't be taken away. Mm -hmm. All right, by the government. That's one thing that everyone needs to understand. Mm -hmm. And actually, after I just do a short explanation, mm -hmm. then I want to give an example mm -hmm. in someone's like real life mm -hmm. of how these go together. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so a right is something that I uh, am undeniably entitled to. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, freedom of speech freedom uh, uh, to bear arms, which is the freedom to have weapons, mm -hmm. um, the freedom to uh, uh, practice a religion or no religion mm -hmm. without anyone mm -hmm. stopping me, okay? And protest. Yes, of course, and the freedom to protest. Mm -hmm. these, our, these are our rights mm -hmm. as U.S. citizens, and, quite, uh, and also, um, uh, most people see these as, and also the right to vote. See, that's why I say it's a it's a right. The right to vote is in there. Mm, I think you look better without glasses. That's nice. Okay. But you uh, know what? You look better with my glasses on. Me. Huh? You look better mm -hmm. with my glasses on me. Because here you look ah. fuzzy. Here you look better. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, ah, see, he doesn't care. Yeah. He doesn't care. Uh, okay, uh, if that this what if what you say is U.S. Uh, constitution is almost same like Chinese constitution. It's not constitution is Bill of Rights. Bill of Rights. Okay, uh, we China have the same rights. This is why our Chinese government says we are the best in the con in the world when it comes to human rights. Go uh, for it. In our constitution. In our constitution, if I'm not mistaken, or if they haven't changed, mm. we have the freedom to organize our own political party. We have the freedom to protest. Mm -hmm. We have the freedom to have mm -hmm. practice our religion, and we have the right to vote in our constitution. Mm -hmm. So China is as good as U.S. or better. Okay. Yes. I'm not denying it. I'm just stating rights and duties. I'm not even talking about China or the U.S. I'm talking about the definition of the words. Okay. <laughs> this has nothing so, to do with politics at all, except for that these are used in political uh, arena. And what I wanted to actually talk about was before you go off on a tangent, is that a right and a duty. And I wanted to give an everyday example of, of the, because I'm trying to de define the words. Okay. I'm not trying to talk about and tell people government stuff. Okay, you give me one example, I will give you a better one in Chinese uh, country. Okay, how can you? It's the same. It'll be the same thing because these relationships are the same. Okay, um, it is the it, duties and rights go together. You can't have one without the other because there is one party that has the right and there's another party that then has the duty to and has to fulfill that right. For example, a parent mm -hmm. has a child. Mm -hmm. It is the parent's duty to take care of that child mm -hmm. and it is that child's right mm -hmm. to be taken care of by their parent. Mm -hmm. Okay? So one person's right is someone else's duty to fulfill in that respect, in an authoritarian type of respect where someone is responsible for someone else when there is an authority figure in the picture. Otherwise, of course, 
what I see as rights are basically setting up a way to put a limit on power. So my right to freedom of speech or freedom to protest means that the government just has to shut up and they can't do anything about it. They just have to let it happen. So that's also, uh, it, it's putting a limit on the authority of the government. Hmm. The government can't say anything. Uh, with your kids, it would be an example of, okay, your child wants to, um, uh, in Western society, uh, we've come to a point where if you're, say your kid wants to go into um, a field that you're not, you don't understand or you're not happy with, wants to be an artist or something like that, and you're completely, you've been an engineer or there have been engineers in your family, and you, why are you going to be an artist? It's that kid's right to choose that because it makes him or her happy. And that's where their talent lies. And the parent has to step away, be supportive and be there for them, like a kind of an umbrella, a support, and a shield. But they have to let them follow their path. Do you understand that? Yeah, but as far as you love my country, love my government, love my party, you you're free to do what you will you you want to do and you will you have the right to to have education yes and also uh we have a freedom of speech like uh, all these chinese people we uh climb the wall uh what is called uh proxy 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 p r o x y like we have pro proxy we pay only 10 we build only one dollar and a half for a month and mm -hmm. we can come to youtube and uh, criticize everything even sh tell people you are stupid and this that our government never stop them so we we have even in in international broadway mm -hmm. uh, much much broad how can i put it a scale mm -hmm. much broader scale of freedom of speech in china so wait wait wait, wait. they have to climb a wall but we give them freedom to climb the wall yeah, but do you know what a proxy does? Mm -hmm. A proxy has to change constantly because they keep blocking the IP addresses. That's why I think a lot of our traffic look like looks like it's coming from different Asian countries, mm -hmm. but none of our traffic comes from China. Why does none, none of our traffic, when we look at our analytics on YouTube, none of the traffic is coming from China. All of it's coming from... Don't be offended, but Taiwan is actually allowed to come without climbing a proxy. So your proxies that you're using are pinging out of Taiwan. Okay, so it looks like we have an enormous amount of people coming from Taiwan. That's because... Or uh, I think people then could possibly be coming just from Taiwan. That is because in my motherland, we have uh, peaceful uh, five principles that we don't interfere with other people's business. We don't interfere with other countries' politics or affairs. This is why we uh, we this is why you have no people from China. So no one from China is watching. Yes, they do. They can go to another country and watch you. Do they go to another country, or do they digitally go to another country? What is the difference now? This is a, a, tech, a modern technology. You don't have to physically go there. You don't have to physically go there to make a love. Yeah, you do. No, they have new technology. That's uh, not remote, physically. remote, remote. That's uh, virtual. That's not actually touching the person. They haven't figured that out yet. Is that like the yeah. Japanese guy who just married some anime character? But actually, he used the. 2500th person to marry the same anime character so he had to wait in line i guess i don't know anyway i i think uh, my country need a better spokesman I, i'm not qualified this is why i'm not a party member i've never but been this isn't supposed to be about that we were just defining rights and privilege like we didn't even get to privileges but I'm, I'm as a Chinese, I always have to protect my country, my motherland, my country is the best uh, absolutely uh, no uh, discussion what did they do for you you have to protect them, but what do they do for you? Okay, I know that they, they don't. They don't put me in jail, so. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
if I don't do that, like uh, like the old artist from uh, uh, Taiwan, you know, they have to say I support China, only one China, everything. Otherwise, they won't have a job. They won't have. They won't won't be fed. I don't think that we can give an accurate. Um, uh, we don't have enough examples of freedoms to talk about that society. Okay, and let, let's move on. Okay, yeah. those, those things getting too complicated. I think we we'll leave this to Trump and uh, Xi Jinping to have the G20 meeting if they're going to meet. Actually, if they're going to meet at all. I mean. Actually, I think it needs to be left to the citizens of China to handle. That's, that's their country. It all depends on what they want. Are they happy? Fine. If they're happy like that, fine. They say we are very happy to climb the wall to come to see you, and it's so easy, enjoy. you know. And uh, my country is much better than yours. I, I agree with that, of course, completely. And this is I why that's why I come here to suffer, to to experience how terrible life is here. And you know, with this uh, uh, hot fire, uh, 火水深火热 water deep, and. Uh, uh, water deep, water uh, fire hot, like like uh, California, it has the fire. Uh, it's, it's yeah. Uh, yeah, and water deep, water deep. Where's the water deep? Anyway, anyway, <laughs> terrible life here in U.S. I agree, completely agree. Long life, China. <sighs> okay, and uh, you guys say it. Freedom of speech, freedom of press is nonsense. Okay, I come to YouTube channel. I say you are stupid. You block me. This is a freedom of speech. You say in your country have freedom of speech. Why can't I leave to your channel to say this is a public channel? I say you are stupid. You block me. I say I f- your mom and you block me. Why? Freedom of speech. No. So this is a fake freedom of speech. You don't give me the right of freedom of speech in your country. So you are all fake. <laughs> this is a serious matter. Why you laugh? We Chinese don't laugh. We Chinese serious people. We don't make jokes. <laughs> Calm down. Calm down. Cultural revolution. Down period USA. Do we need to take a break here? Should we take a break? It's okay. Yeah, because I don't like that at all. I don't respond well to that. I just walk away. Yeah. Wait to where? This is USA. No, no, I just go out of the room. Go to China. I go out of the room. Okay. <laughs> because that's an example of my right to not listen to you. Oh. Just because you have a freedom to speak doesn't mean I have to listen to you. That's better in your house. In my house, I can leave the room or I can ask you to leave. So, you're talking about privilege. It's a privilege, not a right. Okay. Please explain to our viewers what is a privilege and what is a right. What is speech, uh, freedom of speech in YouTube? And what is a privilege to speak in your channel? First off, 